Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be talking to you about Laravel views. And views is the files that display the output for our application. It essentially displays the HTML and the CSS that the user sees. So let's go ahead and open up our application. And if we go to our routes web.php, you can see that this file is starting to get really cluttered. And normally we don't want to have all of our output inside of this file. We want to keep this file really clean. So what we could do instead of directly outputting inside of this file, we could output this to a view. So if we look at the home route, we have return view welcome. And we can actually find this view inside of our resources views folder, and we have a welcome.blade.php. So this is the file that actually gets output. We have Laravel here, and we have some links down at the bottom. And if we go to localhost 8000 slash, then we should return this view of welcome. And sure enough, our localhost 8000 will return this page. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new view. And I'm just going to call this my page. So let's return a view and just call that my page. And I'm going to create that and save that as mypage.php. And we'll just print out an HTML structure. Just say my page. And let's do an h1. And we'll say my web page. Let's go ahead and format that a little bit. And let's go to localhost 8000 slash my page. So simple enough, you can see that we have returned this view, which then renders this file, and then it gets output to the screen. So one thing that I want to show you is if we didn't return this view, and instead we just wanted to say echo, and then we went ahead and just echoed out this HTML, and we reload the page, we're essentially going to get the same thing because that is all that's happening behind the scenes. We're just saying instead of you actually displaying the data from the route web.php, let's go ahead and return a view and that view will be output to the screen. So let's go ahead and go back and undo this and I'm going to show you how we can pass variables to our views. So let's go ahead and say that we have an array of variables. So let's say var1 and let's make that equal to hamburger. Let's do var2, let's say hot dog, and var3, and let's make that french fries. Okay, and let's go ahead and pass that as a second parameter to this view function. So we can say return the view my page, and I want to pass it this data. So if I go ahead and save that and we go back into mypage.php, I will now have this data that I can use inside of my view. So I could simply say PHP echo, and I want to echo var1. So let's save that, let's reload, and sure enough we get my web page and var1 was hamburger, so we get that output to the screen. So then we could also do var2 and var3, and I may want to add a break tag after each of these. So let's save that, let's reload, and sure enough we get hamburger, hot dog, and french fries. And another break tag right there. So if we reload, you can see that we can easily pass a data array to our views and then all those variables will be available for us. So that is just the basics about how you can render views and how you can simplify how many lines of code is inside of your routes web.php. And we will see you in the next video where we will show you Blade Templating. And Blade Templating is just a simple templating library that you can use inside of your views. So we will see you in the next video. Hey guys, thanks for checking out this Laravel Basics video. Uh, Laravel is a really cool framework that allows us to build these really cool applications. And one of those applications that I have built is the Dev Dojo. So if you check out devdojo.com, it's a learning resource for all things web development, including Laravel. I've just added a new section which includes ebooks that you can download and uh, it's just a whole bunch of resources for you to get better at web development. So thanks again for checking out this video and I hope you go over to the devdojo.com and check it out.